Continuing from my last video in which I talked about uh, the use of Pythagoras to find sides and uh, sides of a right angle triangle. I'm continuing with right angle tri uh, trigonometry. So I'm going to discuss uh, an acronym which is called SOCARTOA or the trig ratios used to find side, sorry, sides and angles of a right angle triangle. <clears throat> so when you're dealing with a right angle triangle, the side which is opposite to the right angle is called hypotenuse. Okay, you should be knowing that. Now these two sides, so that this is triangle ABC, where AC is the hypotenuse, AB and BC are the sides which form the right angle. In some books, they are also called the leg angle. Or the, they are shorter. Okay, one thing that you should be very clear is AB is always less than AC and BC is always less than AC. Okay, you can't say anything about AB and BC. They can be greater or equal, whatever. But these two sides, AB and BC, is always less than AC. Or in other words, AC is the longest side. Okay. Now, you... Now, suppose if this is, say... If this is, say, alpha, and this is beta, the other thing that you should be knowing is <coughs> alpha plus beta should be 90. Okay? So these are some basic facts you should be knowing. Okay? So because the sum of three angles of a triangle adds to 360. <coughs> so uh, let me remove the alpha and beta now. Okay. Now. Now, suppose you are taking one angle. Suppose this is the angle under consideration. In most of the books, they use the letter theta or theta. So, this is the angle under consideration. We are considering angle, this angle C, and we are naming it by a Greek letter theta. So, with respect to this angle C or theta, this side is called the opposite side. This is the opposite. So, I will write the whole word O. This is called the opposite side, opposite, okay? This is the opposite, opposite, sorry. So, we use the short letter O for opposite. This side is called the adjacent side. This side is called the adjacent side, which is, can be written by letter A, and this is the hypotenuse, which you can give the letter H. Now, there are basically three trig ratios. Uh, I would say, yeah, for the time being, I can say there are three trig ratios. Now, trig ratios are only the ratio between two sides. Okay. So, these are the three formulas you need to know. This is sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Now, what does this mean? If in any right angle triangle, if an angle measures theta, whatever that angle is, so this is the angle, the ratio between this side, opposite and hypotenuse, is called, this is by definition, sine theta, is nothing but a ratio between two sides, between the opposite and the hypotenuse. Okay, so when you get this is not sin, this is called sine. Actually, the full, it's called S-I-N-E. Sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. We don't write E here. So this is only a ratio. Okay, we can see this in a different way. But you have to remember this. And it's always good to remember this triangle I do. This is a triangle, so let me draw a triangle, a good triangle. And uh, so let me draw a triangle. Which triangle? Yeah, this is good. So I'll draw a triangle, okay? And I'll draw a line. I'll be as tidy as possible. So this is, this is very good to remember. Trigonometry, this is one of the, so we remember this by so, S, o h so how do you read the formula this is 
sine theta is opposite side over hypotenuse. Okay. Now this same thing. I'll I'll delete this. Now if you make if you make O the subject. Okay. If you want to write what is O, look at the triangle. O is sine times hypotenuse. That is sine of the angle, whichever that angle is, times the hypotenuse. So when you when they are sitting along with each other, you multiply. But if you want to make H the subject, so O is above sine. So H is O divided by sine. So this is a very easy way to remember. O divided by sine of the angle theta gives you hypotenuse. So this is the first trig ratio. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, and this is the triangle that you need to remember. So let me move on to car. Let me draw a triangle. Say which triangle? Yeah, this triangle. So I'll use okay, so this is again. This is theta. This is the opposite. I'll write now O. This is the adjacent A and this is the hypotenuse. Now cos is again the ratio. Cos theta is the ratio between adjacent and hypotenuse, which is A over H. This is by definition. So let me draw the triangle. Okay. And uh, okay. So now I'll write this C A H like this. This is a good way to remember the formula. Ka. Okay. <coughs> so in the previous you say this is so S O H. Now the next formula is ka. So cos theta is A divided by H. Can you see this A is sitting above A H. So A divided by H. So if you want to make say A the subject, A, if you want to find the adjacent side, you have the angle and you have the hypotenuse, you can say you have to multiply this two. So C stands for cos of the angle, whichever that angle times the hypotenuse. And finally H, if you want to make H the subject, A divided by C. So H would be A, which is adjacent divided by the cos okay that is cos theta okay it should not go other way it should always be the top divided by the bottom okay and finally i'm going to look at toa okay so again finally this is the angle and in the next video i'm going to make and uh, do some examples based on these three formulas so this is theta so this is again your opposite this is your hypotenuse, sorry, this is your adjacent and this is your hypotenuse. Now this angle can also come here, okay. If this angle comes here, if theta is here, this is your opposite and this is adjacent. Okay, Opposite and adjacent will interchange with respect to the angle, where the angle comes. In this case, this is opposite, this is adjacent. But if this theta, okay, let me show that. What do, what do I mean, suppose this angle let me take theta here yeah, in this case so that we have a difference here so here this is your opposite and this is your adjacent so by tan theta this is again definition between two ratio between two sides is opposite divided by adjacent okay so let me bring my triangle I'm going to draw the Soka Toa. Now this formula is called Toa. Okay, so let me write T O A. So we know tan theta is O divided by A. If you want to make O the subject, that means if you want to find the opposite side and you've got adjacent and an angle, we use tan theta times adjacent and if you want to make adjacent the uh, subject it will be O divided by O divided by tan theta. I'll see you in the next video.